What's going on, YouTube? Welcome back to the Jeff Man 316 Pop Culture Reporter Channel. I'm your host, as always, Jeff Man 316 and it's weekly movie hunt time. I know there's at least two movies I'm looking for, so hopefully we'll find them, but we're gonna go out, check the normal stores, and then come back and we'll talk about uh, some online options, and we'll, I'll show you if I bought anything. So uh, let's get right into the hunt. Let's go. So first stop of the day, going to be Tarjay. I'm a poet, didn't know it. So on the new release track, what do you know for a change? You actually did have some new releases. So there's your Sonic 2. And there's the DVD. So that's $19.99. And then the 4K is $27.99. Then they got the two movie collection for $29 on Blu-ray. Look, okay, I got Vivo here, 24 and 19 for the Blu-ray and DVD. I don't know anything about that. Got that Harry Potter HBO Max reunion special, 14.99. No interest in that. I do want to see this though. It's that movie Men. Target's got it too high, 24.99. Nope. Look at that, The Green Planet, and then Hot Seat for 16.99. It's Kevin Dillon and Mel Gibson. That's about it there. So let's look over here on the side. I'm not really seeing a lot. This is everything. It was from last week. Look at Morbius. The Target exclusive is 17 bucks. They can't get rid of that. We'll head down the main aisle here. We've got Ghostbusters Afterlife on sale. I went down toward the back end. They don't have a whole lot. Got X on sale if you missed out on that for 19. That should have been the regular price. Halloween Kills, $12.99. Check out all the Halloween content I've been posting. Reviews and theory videos. Soul on DVD. Yeah, that Target was kind of a bust. So let's get into Best Buy. Let's go. So on the front rack, you got your massive talents on sale. We got that steel book there still. I'm not seeing anything good on this side. Let's go to the flip side. So they got Doctor Strange still. There's Sonic. 22 for the Blu-ray. 27. Look at this cool steel book. I do like the artwork there, but the movie I have no interest. But that's on sale for $30.99. So let's head to the to the before we head to the back. We got the heat with the slip cover, but they don't have the steel book up here. Man, I'm not really seeing a whole lot else. Nope. Now let's head to the back. Before I go there, they got some horror movies on sale, other than I don't know what 21 Bridges is, but the Halloween Shop Factory, that is an excellent transfer. You guys should definitely pick that up if you hadn't already. They got Jaws, I always point that out. They got the Scream set on sale. They Live. And then hey, look over here, they got Grease on sale. Rest in peace, Olivia Newton-John. Little Sandy herself. They got that cheap along with some other catalog stuff on this rack. Then in the main section, still got Doctor Strange. Here's Men in here, a little bit cheaper. That cover is just weird. Morbius, say hey, Doom. I don't think that's the right price. The slip cover does look good. Yeah, it was in the wrong spot. There's the right spot, so I think we're gonna skip that for now. I'm not really seeing anything right there. There's a couple of new releases. Last Seen Alive. Pretty generic looking cover. Looks like a pretty generic looking action flick. Uh, I don't know. 
$13.99. I think I'm gonna still skip it. There's Vivo for $24. if there's anything else over on this side. Lower Decks is on sale. Mm, I don't really see anything else right there. What about here? Got Alligator on sale. Dune. That Hot Garbage Wonder Woman 84. Mm, nothing much else. What about this section? They really got a lot of 4K Disney stuff on sale for $19.99. And there's Almost Famous. That keeps coming down. Frozen. Got those on sale. I saw somebody pick those up. Doctor Strange looks really good in 4K. And so do the Guardians of the Galaxy. Um, I can't recommend those enough in 4K. Those look great. And then they got the Eternals. Eternally shelf warming. So over here on the flip side, they got the, is that Ip Man, IP Man, 24. Finding a lot of those in the Dollar Tree, Independence Day. This Wes Anderson double pack is cool. If you haven't seen Fantastic Mr. Fox, you need to check that out. And then that Halloween right there, somebody might get it in a giveaway soon. We're really close. So the next stop of the day walmart let's go so we'll start with the five dollar bin let's see if we can find any options up in here we got a rush hour three pack you usually can find some multi-movie packs up in here shazam look to prestige a protege sorry escape room three pack red hatfields and mccoy's a dog's way home Friday so a lot of multi packs so over here on the main section here's your Sonics that's a cool cover 2296 all new animated story there's the DVDs weekend warriors Ten bucks. They got men. That's the cheapest. So if you're gonna get that, get it in Walmart. Last seen alive. They got the DVD. That's almost as high as the Best Buy's Blu-ray. You got Vivo there. And over here they had Crimes of the Future. And they only had it on DVD. The Hot Seat, fourteen ninety six and twelve ninety six. And then they got Money in the Bank. WWE said it's got a sticker inside. Then they got the Pam and Tommy. That was only on DVD from what I saw. So that's pretty disappointing when they only release DVDs and not Blu-rays of stuff. They got that Chucky set. There's the Shutter titles. I think that's about it. So yeah, so that was a, a decent little hunt there. We found some stuff. But before we look and see what, uh, what I picked up, let's go online and we're going to look through the list. And see if there's anything else we missed out on or maybe i can recommend that you guys should pick up so let's check that out first so you yeah, online there's heat doom we saw all that we didn't see event horizon i'm in the minority i don't think that movie's that good but there's sonic last seen alive men pam and tommy crimes of the future we did see that on dvd and walmart look back to the beach i didn't see that there's that harry potter Season of Bull, Money in the Bank, Hot Seat. So we did see those. Yellow Brick Road. Is that any good? I think I remember seeing that back in the day, but I can't remember if it was any good or not. So let's see what else we got down here. Domestic Disturbance. I remember that being pretty good. Fabulous TNA 2. Look at there. What else they got? The old man movie that must be a movie about me down to earth with chris rock was pretty good death by temptation i just watched that on uh joe bob on shutter there's weekend warriors i don't really see amityville hex what every other week has got to be an amityville movie coming out the 
Goldberg's Megaforce. That's an 80s classic. The Boogeyman Cometh. Abominable. Bu -bu 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 -bu. Oh, what else? This looks like a lot of B movie cheese. Nothing too good. Spine chiller. I don't think we're missing much out on here. What is that? French Blood 2. Yeah, most of these are B movie things. We didn't even see them in Walmart. They're so bad. I don't think we missed anything. Let's get out of here. So, picked up a couple things in Best Buy, and I did want to also rant. Is the reason I'm recording this in the car. So, they always do a, a, a pickup sticker on the front of those movies when I pick them up in my store. And in this case, I got the movie Crimes of the Future. This is a David Cronenberg movie. I heard it was really screwy, um, wacky, kind of, you know, mess with your mind type of thing. But look, the when you put the sticker and pull it off, it peels some of the paint off the cover. So, I don't like that. But the cover is basically the same anyway. So... And the second movie I got was a movie called Men. Um, I heard the same thing, that this was kind of weird. So maybe that'd make a good double feature there. So what do you think of those? And then the last one, we didn't see it in stores, and I'm glad I did a pickup on it, like, earlier in the week, is the uh, Steelbook of Heat. I really like Heat. And Best Buy Steelbooks, man, they usually, if they're hard to get, they sometimes go for quite a bit of money a little bit later. So sometimes this is an investment. So what do you think of that? So I really appreciate you guys support me. That's some pretty decent choices out there. So um, go out, buy some physical media, keep supporting it. Like, comment, subscribe, share, do all the normal YouTube stuff. Then hit the notification bell. You'll know when I do my next hunt or review or anything else pop culture related. So until next time, boys and girls, this is Jeffman316, your pop culture reporter signing out saying you guys be safe out there.